We have a lot of ways for users to input data, but we could certainly do more to organize our forms. In this video, we'll learn about field sets, legends, and labels. In the previous two videos, we started creating a form, and we're going to build upon that here. So let's switch over to our text editor. And one thing you may have noticed about our form is that we don't really have labels on a whole lot of things. For example, the username and password are completely unlabeled. So if you came to that form without knowing about the form, it would be pretty confusing. So it's good to always have labels assigned to your elements. So to start out, we're going to actually just break up our form into two separate sections so that it's a little bit easier for the users to digest. So to do that, we're going to use the field set element. So we'll open that there. And let's go ahead and close it just after our favorite foods here. So close the field set there, and then indent all of our elements there. And then just after the opening of our field set, we'll go ahead and create a legend tag and we'll close the legend here and inside of our legend we'll say important information we'll save that out switch back and refresh and we now have this really nifty box around our important information so we should probably create another field set down here for the optional items so we'll go ahead and just copy a little bit of the beginning of our field set here with the legend. And just after our text area here, we'll throw in our field set. And then we want to close this right before the submit button. So we'll close our field set here. And then let's indent everything so it's in line with the legend and in line with the field set. We'll save that. And let's actually go ahead and change this label to say optional items. And if we refresh the browser, that's what we've got. Now we can go ahead and actually center these legends to the center of our field sets if we want. To do that, you can go ahead and use the align attribute and set it to center on the legend. So if we refresh the page, you can see that our optional items label is now centered. Next, we need to add labels to each one of our form elements. So let's go ahead and do that, starting with the username text input. To add a label, we just need to add a label tag, just like that. And we'll go ahead and close the label tag. And inside of it, we'll say username. Now, how are we going to know which form element this label is associated with? Well, we're going to add a for attribute and we're going to call it username. Now, you would think that this would be associated with a name, but it's actually not. We need to add an ID attribute to this input and we'll just set it to the same name of username and that will associate this label with this form element. So if we save that, switch back and refresh, you can see that we now have username next to this form element. The neat thing about this is that when we associate it with an ID, we can actually click on the label username and it will focus into the form field automatically. So let's go ahead and add the rest of these labels. I'll copy this here and paste it just above our password. And of course we need to add the ID of password. And then we need to add a few labels for our radio buttons and for our checkboxes. So let's just paste this right in here. And that said, mail. And then of course we need to add an ID and we'll change the for attribute just like that. We'll change the ID of female and then add a label around it. And then change the for label. 
And I'm going to just cheat a little bit and actually copy and paste from off screen to get the rest of these checkboxes in. So you get the idea. The for attribute needs to match up with the ID attribute of these checkboxes to match up with this label. And then we should probably add a label for our text area and for our select here. So let's do that. Add a label for our essay and we'll add the ID essay. And we need to go ahead and close this, of course. And we'll say something more friendly like, we want to know more about you with a line break. Write a short essay about yourself. So we'll save that. And then finally, we'll add a label for our select. So we'll add the label and we'll say for continents, close the label and say, where are you from? And we'll add a line break after that. And then on our select, we should probably have a name on there. So let's go ahead and add that in now. And then we need to have an ID for it to match up with the label. So we'll add that in. And when we save and refresh the page, it looks like we have a couple of errors going on here, but we can go ahead and fix those. But for the most part, when you click on these labels, they should actually select the item you would expect them to. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with this markup here. We'll scroll up. And it looks like we actually may have pasted in something twice here. So we'll just get rid of this here. Save that out and refresh. And there we go. Now, here we have another issue with the text area, and we need to actually just add in a line break there right after our label. So after a label, add in a line break, refresh the page, and now we just have that nice label at the top and our text area. So again, you can click on the label and it will focus on the appropriate form element. Pretty nifty. Now, it looks like our select element wasn't focusing. That's because our for attribute and ID were not the same. It was continent instead of continents. So if we refresh, that looks correct now. We can click on that label and the select will be selected. And one last thing I would like to emphasize before we close this out is that your name attribute and your ID attribute or your name attribute and for attribute don't actually need to be the same. However, it's a good idea to keep them the same for the sake of clarity. However, what is important is that your for attribute and your ID attribute are the same. That covers the basics of forms. Later on, if you start to learn about server-side programming, you'll learn how to process the data from your forms.